Good job, friend. Don't you touch me with your butt. Oh, he touched me with his butt. That's very rude. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Princess Peach Showtime. Last episode, we took care of pretty much everything here on the third floor. Uh, except for this. Particularly... I don't know, I was gonna say ominous door, but frankly at this point, this is the third door of this type that we've had to open. So, I, I'm pretty... Ooh, okay, a slight change up here. I was going to say I'm pretty sure I know what to expect. Stella's gonna ask for 10 gems, and then we're gonna find some demon in there and kick it right in the throat. Well, apparently... We're doubling the gem cost. Stella, you know, the, this economy, okay, inflation, it affects us all. But undoubtedly, there will still be some sort of evil creature, some sort of boss for the floor behind here. The first boss we dealt with was Disco Wing. The second one was the Light Snake. Third one? Hard to say. I don't think that the prior two bosses have necessarily carried on any sort of consistent theme. Sometimes in games like this, there will be maybe like a theme for the kingdom or the, the world or the floor in this instance. And this one, oh my goodness me! I suppose the only consistency here is that it's an animal. Oh my god, it's like the Cheshire cat. It looks adorably demented with sharp teeth to boot. Very well. Uh, I'd have to imagine that we don't want to get eaten. Meow, are you the peach and still I've heard about? Mm. <laughs> you are barely beat parts in Madame Grape's esteemed production. <laughs> Try as much as you like, you won't succeed. Oh. I suppose you think you can defeat someone as grand as me, the guardian of this dark door. Mm, I'll swipe those smug expressions off your cute little faces. No, thank you. I, I, I'd have to. I'd have to ask you to refrain. Oh, we're in a living room. Don't scratch the furniture. I, the, the pr projector cat. He's not scratch the furniture. He's gonna scratch my face right off. Okay. What? So what, what's what's the play here? Mice. I have turned the mouse into a bomb. Come grab the bomb. Oh God, he gonna grab me. Oh my goodness, he grabbed me. And. Oh, I get it now. Okay, we can kick. We can kick the bomb with our feet without using our sparkle. And very much like many past Nintendo games, he has a face and floating hands. Did you see that? Very much like Bongo Bongo. All right, you, mouse, stop being that. And where are you going? You going down here? Here, take this. Take this, yeah, take that. Oh, what? No. He hit it. That's not quite what I wanted. Where the hand is coming, grab that. Grab that bomb. It's right under the hand. And it's up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not completely aware of what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I need to put it in the center? Oh, he gonna, he gonna come get me. You stay back. Stay back, fool! Yeah, you, you smack that that way. So if I put this in the center, will it go up and hit that, that like, ball thing of his? This doesn't feel quite right, but that's in the center now. It got him right in his feline chin. Very good. So that's exactly what we have to do. It's just slightly difficult, dare I say, which is not necessarily a prevalent theme in this game, as we've discussed, but it is one that's ever, ever growing, I do suppose, because the amount of time we have... Oh, what are you doing with that? Whoa, what the heck was that? That wasn't your arm, was it? Mm, got another one. Okay, I'm just going to put this back in here. Are you going to bring your hand out? He is, uh, don't, don't touch me, gosh darn it, how can I refrain from being touched by him when he, oh, he's gonna do it again, huh? No, 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 I jumped, very good, yes, stop batting my ball around, my ball needs to be centered, maybe I can do something to his hand, don't do that, very rude, Try yes, I can, I can hurt his hand, perfect, but I'm not gonna have time to, Oh, I can hit it into there quicker. Look at that. I should have known that I could use Sparkle to mobilize the bomb. Lo and behold, it's going to come in handy for the final iteration, but shouldn't have taken me that long to figure it out. Now, should it have? Okay. Well, so we know we can we can Sparkle the bomb, and it's going to mobilize a bit quicker. We can also Sparkle the, the paws of our Felinian friend here. So, yes, bring your, bring your paw down here, sir. No, not like that. Uh-uh. I'm going to hit it. Yeah. 
Oh, you got rid of my Bob? Oh, how am I going to assault you? You do? I have nothing to throw to your face now. Can I do it like this? I'm gonna hit you in the chin with my with my palm. Very, very, um, guess not. So I need to protect this. Yeah, come over here. Smack this way so the bomb stays for me. Thank you. You gonna do it again or you doing sideways? You got something else entirely. I don't know what that is. Oh, you... Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Too many hands. Too many kitty hands. You stop to... Gosh darn it. Oh my goodness. It is growing more difficult, shall we say. I, I am what I consider a cat person. But I, I never played with a cat this big before, all right? Stop that. You, your claws are too sharp. Don't touch my bomb. Please don't touch my bomb. It missed my bomb. Perfect. I don't think that's meant to do anything with it then anyways. That's got to be it, right? Bring out your phantom hands. Perfect. And this should be the end of our fanged friend here. Hit his orb! Fill it full of blue energy, Princess Peach. Perfect. Kamehameha. All over the place. Perfect. Well, hey, that wasn't too bad, but it was easily and undoubtedly the most difficult as of yet. Which, again, is probably not necessarily something that's unheard of. But given the way the game started, I, just, I don't know. It's kind of unexpected for it to take such a turn. Maybe it's just me, though. <laughs> suppose that's entirely possible. Anyways, this completes for us the main challenges of the third floor. I wonder if, like the prior two, if there will be a mini-game dude on the right here. Well, that it. He was something else, huh? At least this floor is back to normal now, too! You've performed in lots of different plays now, so I'm sure we'll be fine no matter what comes our way! Oh, except earthquakes! We don't have insurance for that. Oh. Ooh, indeed. Is it a warp point? Very strange. What could that? It has to be a warp point of some sort. Or maybe a quick travel, which otherwise is a warp point. <laughs> That's the theater's store lift. I wonder if the threads and then the door were somehow keeping it from working. Oh, maybe it's accessible again because we've weakened Grape's magic by restoring the lower floors. Now we can go to the basement and the other floors more quickly. Do you want to try? Um, Peach does. Uh, sure. No, I guess not. Let's go over here. Talk to this guy. Rehearsals for the cowgirl play are happening here. Apologize for the initial delay. Save as many feats as you can. The rehearsal will end if any bombs explode. Oh, okay. 45 is the threshold for maximum reward. 15 is the threshold for any. And now this one, unlike the prior two, is not contingent on us abstaining from any amount of damage. Just bombs exploding. Oh, then this right here. I feel like I did pretty well at this. Yeah, hello there. Get that. Yep, you go. Oh, we can double up. Look at that. So just don't lasso the bombs. That seems easy enough. <laughs> dare I say we might actually go. Oh. I was going to say, dare I say, we might actually get a gold, but I feel like in order to get a gold, I probably need to, to be perfect with it. And I have already missed one. Goodness knows that any amount more possible. Could be one more. Could be two more. Could be three, four, five, six, seven. And then some. So are those freebies? Those dudes floating away? What are they? They're just distractions, perhaps? I didn't actually do anything with them. He's still flying. Which is... Can I get you? Oh, I, they're not freebies. 30 seconds left. Okay. Good to know. We've already reached the threshold for bronze. And we're rapidly approaching silver here. Three more. Should get it here very quickly. Can you can you send me some more dudes on the uh, on the balloons? You know what I'm saying? That was nice though. Just give me six and no bombs. They're about they're gonna throw me for a loop here. I just know it. Ha ha! You can't get away from me! I'm gonna save you! Whether you want to be saved or not. Oh, we got gold. Barely. Very nice. 45. Would you like? No, I, would I can try again. Trying to swindle me out of my prize. Hey, man, you did really well. Why don't you, why don't you get back out there? <laughs> why don't you do it again? But, but worse. No. Gosh darn it. I haven't been able to acquire the premier prize in any of the past challenges. So the fact that we got one here now feels, well, nice. Boom shakalaka. All the way, you got a dress ribbon, the geometric dress. 
Very nice. And we've got 1,500 coins. We've got a lot. We've got a lot. We could stand to go purchase some stuff, potentially. Why don't, why don't we go look at that, then? Uh, we'll, we'll work the star lift. We'll humor them. So we can go to the fourth floor. Go to the basement. Let's go to the first floor, since that's where the shop is. And we don't have anything new in the basement, right? Because we did not get the cowgirl uh, sparkler spirit thing. So there's no reason to go down there. But we will go over to the shop. Participate in a little commerce. You know what I'm saying. This guy needs to earn a living. Gosh darn it. And his prices aren't too terribly jacked up anyways. Certainly not as bad as a certain Walmart I know. Uh... Miss yeah, Stella. Nah, you good with that. That one's fine. Peach! Mmm. Look at these. These are nifty. This looks like a Wario sort of dress. What is that? Wah! <laughs> no. There's a very definite purple sort of mainstay consistency between these two. I wonder if that's because they are the dresses that were inside the back pockets of the two bosses we killed. And they are, you know, enlisted by grape, and grape do be purple. So, perhaps. Either which way. Let's carry on upwards to the top floor, at least the top one accessible by us, and see what we get access to. Will we get any new capabilities, any new transformations, or have we reached that number in totality? Left two, we've got them. That is, that's different, whatever that is. And so three of the four are the same as once before. Detective, Thief, and Ninja. And then... Uh, seamstress? Peach? Minimum wage? P Peach? Tar target? Uh, reception? I don't know. We'll see. We'll go to Ninjutsu, the art of... Something. I, I skipped over it. The Art of Flames. Sure, that sounds hot. I'm, I'm here for that. Goodness gracious. Uh, the flames can be both beneficial and harmful. You know what I'm saying? Hard to cook food without some level of heat. And if you didn't have an oven or anything like that in the way of modern conveniences, you by golly would be using flames. Maybe I'm hungry. I don't know. Either which way, it feels good to be a ninja again. Because I quite enjoy the first time. Ha! Got you! Oh, wait, no, you're good, guys. Sorry. Am I here to aid you? With what? A castle's been taken from us. Do I know it's your castle? Has anyone vetted these people? We could be just taking the castle from people that own it. The gods are going to be a problem. They attached s something hideous to the castle. We've got to destroy it. <laughs> it's a Christmas tree. I'm just kidding. I don't know what it is, but I've eliminated the guard. Oh, and it's, it's locked, so it doesn't even matter anyways. Can we go up here? Can I wall jump? No. Okay, well, it looks like it is time to blend in with my surroundings. I'll just carry on all the way through. Ooh, the sideways dude is kind of problematic, but we're good. How about some wall jumps, huh? Wall jumps are good. Everyone likes a wall jump. Surely the ninja of legend. You guys are just standing here with the bad guys? This looks like a spot for me to pose. I do suppose I could use some money. All right, you, go. You as well. Join him. And you, finally, must also pe perish. Ha-ha! <laughs> wow! Don't mind me, just splashing and dashing. And what do we have here? Another pose spot? I was slightly off. Not necessarily the most precise thing in the world. This one, however, is a lift teleporting us somewhere down below. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe yes. I was going to say maybe we'll get a uh, gem. Lo and behold, no. Ooh. Ooh! Wait a minute. There we go. It's not that difficult. <laughs> For a minute there, my neurons were whizzing and whirring, sputtering and spurring inside my brain. How was I ever going to accomplish such a feat? Lo and behold, it's with the fabled technique known as pressing B. Ancient secret. All right. We can sneak through here. It looks like it's sneaking into the boiler. What are those gears in there? And so are we. All right. Fair enough. They're listening for intruders. Be strategic. Oh, we gotta sneak. We gotta be walking. Huh, can we just drop down and kill him? No, we cannot. You don't hear anything. Oh, you stabbed the ceiling? You're sick. It was a mouse. You hear a mouse creeping in your rooftop and you just start stabbing the ceiling? What's gonna happen when it rains next, huh? That's what I thought, Einstein. Come here. Get banana. Oh, really? Really? I was gonna banana him. Whatever. Let's just go. Yes. 
We've made the noise. Now we come down and we will assault the boys. Perfect. Can we go to the left at all? Or is that just... No, that's the end of the stage. Cool. And we didn't actually... Oh, we did, we did. I was say we didn't actually need to assault them because we don't get anything. But, lo and behold, I was about to speak prematurely. We do indeed get this. Ha ha, our first gem. Can I have the gem, please? Oh, we must jump this way. We must wall jump all the way around. That was neat. I appreciate that. I love wall jumps. I don't know if it's my history with Mario games in general. It has to be, right? Because Mario 64 was my introduction to wall jumps. And then, of course, every subsequent 3D Mario adventure and some of the 2Ds therefore incorporated that very same technique. I do be loving it. Who's been caught? Get. 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 Both of you. Wait, all right, fine. We gotta be quicker than that, huh? What? You could just tell I was up there? You don't know me? You don't know anything about that? Oh, it's because he's underneath it. I see. But how would you know that's an intruder? What am I supposed to do here? Honestly. Oh, he's got to move. I was going to say, <laughs> I need to go this way. All right, now I just got to be quicker. Get you first. And you, you second. Okay. <laughs> well, there we have it. Now you, I will dash it open. Or maybe I'll stand here and pose for you. Perfect. Thank you. That's the first two. We're doing quite well, if I do say so myself. Still, perhaps not well enough to feel completely confident in our ability to get all of them, but I just assault him. All right, what'd you say? You can make use of the rotating walls up ahead. Oh, I see. Push him? No. Do I, do I dash into him? No, perhaps this side. Hmm. Am I making it? Ooh, what now? How do I make use of, of said walls? By pressing nothing. Okay, perfect. I'll take that. Just stand here and it'll go. I gotta stand in the right spot. There we go. Yeah, you get in there. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't need to be out here. Oh, I need that. How do I get that, though? Because the minute I'm... The minute I do it, it's gonna rotate out here. Oh, never mind. I am a genius. Look at this. Haha, <laughs> that's some 27 IQ techniques, my friend. Spinning walls. Oh, goodness gracious, how the body falls. And then in, into here. Upward. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see. So I gotta get you and then rotate this so that we might do this. Look at that. Haha. -ha. We have completed techniques. You didn't hear anything. Stop looking up. Stop it. It's going to rain in your mouth and then what, huh? You're going to be sick. Oh, God. Don't look at me. Just go that way. Ha ha! Yeah, that's what happens. Buddy, we missed one, unfortunately, but everything else is going relatively swell. Can we, can we even jump there? No, we cannot. Rotate. What? The whole bottom. I see. I see. Rotate the whole top. Yes, very, very sickening, isn't it? What's over there? There's something to the left, huh? Oh, a secret! Yes, stop shining the light at him. He's got bad eyes, you sick freak. Goodness gracious, how rude. Now back out. Very delightful. Continuing on, uh... I don't think this is going to be a stage where we get the, uh... Oh, gosh. I don't think this is going to be a stage where we get assaulted. <laughs> We've been spotted! By the giant Octorok thing. I'm not quick enough for this. I'll just stay here and die. All right. Thankfully, Princess Preach runs a 4240. So she... Oh, my goodness. She's making me burp. But otherwise, she's up to the task. I do love the ninja free running. I really do. This is a big reason why I loved the... The, the wall jump. Save yourself, Princess. Gosh darn it. It's a big reason why I loved the first ninja thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fine, we don't get it. We don't want the coins anyways, do we? No, coins are... No. Mm -mm. Wow. What's happening here? My goodness gracious. We're running on the floor. We're dying. Once more. Okay. Do it again, they say. <laughs> oh, buddy. It's a very impressive display of athleticism, princess. I do quite admire it. Uh, yes, please. Pieces... Re that was... That was questionable. What... 
Yeah, well, I am. I'm. What's happening there? I'm jumping onto the thing. I just gotta jump more. I guess. Got gotta. No. 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 My prize, man. My prize. Got. Oh, they taking my money for dying. Is that the first time we've died? I think that might be the first time we've died. Jiminy Christmas. I don't remember them ripping the coins from my lifeless body. Goodness gracious, it's not too dissimilar from the American healthcare system now, is it? All right. We can do this now. But we know what to expect. Ha-ha! Give me those! Jiminy Christmas. Thank goodness. Lo and behold, it was my strategy to perish. You thought I did it accidentally. No, 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 no. Dying is what heroes do sometimes in order to save their friends. The enemy's ahead, and you show much promise, so I entrust this secret scroll to you. Surely you can defeat our foe now. The scroll says, Screw off! The art of screwing off! As we ride this giant cog upwards. Oh, it's a, a cog dragon that I can actually control. Oh, great, yeah, destroy all the hideous machinations of this evil empire. All right, much like Saruman's mind turned to cogs and wheels, we shall destroy these cogs and wheels. Because it's good. It's taking, it's taking a little bit of effort for some of these big purple ones, but, you know, that's just how it goes. We've reached the apex, the head of the beast. He is at least a little bit uncomfortable to see us. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. These things happen when you, when you sign up to, you know, stand on top of buildings. You gotta get assaulted by a dragon? Well done. So, I'm having a hard time deciding between my favorite transformations here. Uh, Ninja Peach. Very close, very close. It, it's either Ninja or Sword Fighter, to be honest with you. We'll see how the remaining levels play out, because of course there's very much still time to change. I'm not beholden to this opinion. Goodness gracious, it can be influenced, by golly. But those two do seem to be relatively top of the heap. And I can't help but wonder if that's just because they were the first two that I played? Or if they're just that good? It's honestly a little bit hard for me to separate it. Uh, I'd be curious to hear what anyone else thinks on that. There's one thread. And now do we go thief or detective? To be honest with you, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, ninja! Put it in your chest. It's a good place for daggers, right? Except not really. All right, well, a good place for us is whichever of these three we desire. I mean, previously we have been going clockwise, right? So it would stand to reason that I should go here to do Thief. But instead, I think I'm actually going to go do T-Shirt Peach first. I want to do a new thing. Can I talk to anyone before before we before we do that? No, can I, can I talk to you? you got something to say? You're dancing. In the corner, it's demented. Very good. I, I appreciate it. It's expressing yourself. Make your way downstairs? To the basement? Wait a minute. Why? Maybe I'm just assuming here. He did say downstairs, of which there are a great many stairs to go down, so... I don't know which ones in particular he's referencing, but... I guess we didn't check out the basement, so I should do that real quick, just to be certain. Yeah, we've already gotten this guy, right? Hmm... And if anything were to change here, I feel like they would have notified us upon our entry, right? Well? Well? What? No, that's not true at all! We've got the ninja. We've got the baker. And presumably nothing- maybe the cowgirl over here? We do indeed! The dark locomotive in the doomed town. That sounds like a, a, a horror story. Well, shoot! Gosh darn it, we should do one of these first, then. Before we go off to something new. Because we're accumulating these and not knocking them off our list. This was the first one we accumulated, I think? I don't know, the Dark Baker is the one most to the left. Alright, I'm left-handed, my name's LP. It just works. That's the one we're going with. And I do fancy myself a, uh, a decent cook. Uh, especially in this game. I feel like I've done pretty well at any of the cooking minigames, so... We, we start off with the irredeemable violence of the ninja assaulting people when they can't even look at us very honorable, truly. And now we transform into our other half, where we bake delightful goodies! For friends and foes alike. The music here... Ominous, kind of. 
Very strange. Hello there, person. Whoa, there's the Patissier Sparkler. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Madame Grape's baking stage. <laughs> Madame Grape? What are they talking about? Mm, it is her title. Let us bake together. <laughs> I have eggs! <laughs> Everyone knows grapes love eggs. My nose, it flies east. Follow it and bring the yeast. Mm, that sparkle is acting strange. Let's hurry. Let's also, let's, you know, I just can't help but cook something. I see a mixing pot anywhere. I just got going to bake you something. This is what I do. Cookies everywhere. I'm going to take these with me, right? Maybe? I meant to have these. There you go. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> Just carry around a giant friggin' six-foot-tall stack of cookies and someone will eat them all in one bite. Amazing talent, my man. Amazing, indeed. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> it is me. Time to get baking. Are you ready to bake? Your goal is a triple-layered character cake. Whoever finishes their cake first is the winner. Ready? That doesn't actually help me. What do you mean by that? Three layer character gate? What? Um, let me put some, some blops in a circle. Blop, 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 blop. Mmm, I'm, I'm blopping the floor, as I've been known to do before. Maybe I should not go as quick. I should perhaps just rely upon the, the rotation of the plate itself, huh? So that's one, one layer, yes? First layer complete. I can't say with any certainty that that was as quick as it needed to be. Uh, the challenger has finished the first tier. Not as quickly as I did, though. It looks like a monster cake. My cake looks much nicer. Uh, oh god, what now? I gotta go around each of these. Around. Get it. Get it, you chicken salad. Go around this one. And then around this one, too. Perfect. Hold it. Did I do it? Did I beat you? I feel like I did pretty well there. I've got all sorts of excess. How's that for you, buddy? Oh, I beat him handily! <laughs> this challenger finished their second tier. Will I decorate faster? I mean, truly, you didn't decorate very fast. You did one loop. And here's a giant bulbous head and nose. Let's give this dude a, a, a ringed row. Oh, there's the hat and, and an extra blob. That's his eyeball. What? What? Why did it be sad? Oh, I gotta do two eyes? Oh, fine. I thought one eye was enough, all right? Goodness me, he was a pirate. There we go. Did he get it? What happened? I didn't hold A all the way through. It stopped me. I win. Nice try, but you can't hold a cake to my skills. Oh. Ow! What? He slapped me. Why did you do that? That's not baking. What do you think you are? Gordon Ramsay? Come on! Fine. Well, I will just do better this time. Um, we are off to a start. <laughs> is it better? Uh, is it better? Is it better? We gotta get this right here. It's better. That's slightly better. That's gotta be slightly better, right? Is he done? Beach seems pleased with that, so that is a bring endorsement to me. Uh, I don't think he was done. It's hard to tell. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's done. Uh, this one. This one's so difficult. I don't know why, but this one just challenges me. Even though I did better on this last time than the first one. I think just as a concept, ringing these around. And I guess I do realize it doesn't need to be as precise as I feel like it should be. So, it works. Maybe I just need to chill out. Now, uh, for the cream of the crop here, the tippy-tippy top, I gotta remember eyeballs. Characters need eyeballs. There's never been a character before without eyeballs. So, you know... Give them, give them, give them, give them balls and a nose too. Sure, why not? We just, and we got it. Did we do it? Did we do it? It felt good. I couldn't go much quicker than that. I put a big old splotch of frosting right in this dude's eyeball. It doesn't see. He's not even done with the second layer yet. I'm talking about holding the cake to skills. The challenger finished their cake. Then the winner of this triple layer cake battle is. Oh God, you've done it. It knocked me off my swing. So we missed the first one, got the second. How can we have that? It can't be. I cannot accept this. It might look nice, but how does it taste? Delicious. Oh, oh God. I now have a full belly. 
Here, take this star from my belly. Make room for more cake. Your baking is simply marvelous. Mm, I feel all sugary sweet again from head to toe. That might be a problem for the doctor. Now let's get out of here. The sparkle is back to normal. Oh, this way. Go, go, go. Go very quickly. I will follow you. Now where do you think you are going? I'm going this way? Do I need to go this way? Oh, this way, okay. Come, we must bake sweets together. Sure, sure, that sounds fine. I'll bake some sweets with anyone. I think we can get up through there. Do we want to get out though? We're still missing. Oh no, our exit. <laughs> Welcome to my high baking arena. <laughs> I won't let you escape so easily. No, <laughs> I sit on the floor. <laughs> it's time for a bake off. Oh, look at how my belly jiggles. I promise to let you live if you beat me. Oh, my belly. <laughs> I guess we've got no choice. But working together, we can do this. Yes, we can. Oh, we'll bake our hearts out and see who's the best. <laughs> the one who fills the plate first will win. <laughs> and then I will eat them all. It's time to bake. All right. So be baking. He's bouncing on the floor. I don't know if that is that some sort of ancient baking technique. Boom shakalaka. Woo wee. Good job, friend. Don't you touch me with your butt. Oh, he touched me with his butt. That's very rude. All right. This is a friendly competition. There's no no room for such pervase maneuvers such as that. You ain't even frosting your cookies either, are you, Satan? Look at that, huh? You're gonna lose. Wait, should I be stacking them too high? I thought I was just filling each plate. Each plate do be looking filled. Huh. I don't... I don't know. I, we're still we're still doing better than he is, right? Because we've got five stacks, he's got three, I guess, is the idea. Our baking friend there let us know that, indeed, we do need to stack it twice, even thrice. Okay, it gets a bow on top when it's done. Don't touch me with your cheeks, man! It's unsanitary! Gosh darn it, I'm gonna report you to the FDA! Yes, they do have jurisdiction even this far away. They've managed to... Who's they? Oh. The demon. So have we, right? Have we not? There we go. We've, we've done four. Look at this. Can we do it together? No, we cannot. I was hoping we might be able to get a little extra bonus, much like we did in the prior ones where we have help. Lo and behold, no. Boom shot. Why is that one extra tall? We would we, extra fill that one. <laughs> we set the standard there for the first four, and the fifth one's like, whatever, throw them all on there, it's fine. We win! We missed one. Why did we miss it? Why did we fail? I don't understand that. No, 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 speed isn't important, only taste. I will not accept losing to flavorless cooking. Well, if that's the case, then there's only one thing to do. <laughs> Come here, why not try one of our amazing cookies? Yeah, we'll whisk you up something great with these three ingredients. Eggs, butter, and milk, huh? That's all you need. Very good. Switch that around and... Chocolate will fly in from the ceiling. Here you go. As if you two could make something with any... <laughs> with any... Of you. Oh, God! It's so good! Yes, yes, I know. I went to culinary school, you see. It was called high school, so kind of an expert. Anyways, we did it. We did it. It was, it was, you know, not necessarily easy, but as Peach says there, it was delicious, and that's ultimately all that we can hope for in some sort of the baking great bake-off. You got a Stella. Ooh. Ooh, I like that Stella ribbon. Did you see that? That very much was matching the hues I have on Princess Peach. Oh, my goodness gracious. I think that we might have to, uh, we might have to make the change there just so that we can match. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, we're going to have to go do that before we do the next stage. So, you know, we got to take a little bit of time between getting, th getting there. So we'll go not up the lift. Your baking skills are great. I'm going this way. Very good. Well... I am going to go match up with freaking Stella 
And then go check out the next floor, the new t-shirt trial stage, whatever the heck it is. But of course, you know, both of those things are going to happen next time. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment, or subscribing so you get notifications for tomorrow's episode. Either which way, I'm just glad you were here today, and I hope I get to see you again.